Welcome to the Blues Asia Network on UR Face Radio. Your host, Tomcat Cole. The only source covering blues across Asia and the Pacific. We'll keep the train rolling, steady across the land. Folks, we're back again. This is week number four, and we're here. This is Tomcat Colvin and my co-host over here. Yeah, okay, and we're back for week number four of our program after we went international. So, uh, in any case, uh, let's look at the visual suite by here, and you can see logos and posters and things that really illustrate just uh, how active blues is out here in Asia. Okay, so there we are, and here we are, right here in the UR Face Radio studio, and uh, we thank again R.J. Jacinto for inviting us to use the facilities here to bring this program to you. Yeah. And um, uh, if you're watching us on demand, which you probably are, uh, there are two ways... That can, you can reach us. One is via our, our YouTube channel. Yeah. And you go to youtube.com slash user slash Blues Asia Network. And you can catch us there. Or you can catch us at our website, which is uh, here. See if you can get that in front of people, Arvin. Can you get that uh, so folks can see that? And uh, the uh, in any case... If you come to our website, you're in for a surprise because it has been dramatically redesigned. And uh, we've done things now so that it makes it much easier for you to see what our programs are, uh, uh, what the uh, contents of the show are, um, and... Um, any case, check out our website at www.bluesasianetwork.com. Okay. And we'd like to thank once again uh, all the people that have been giving us feedback. Uh, mm -hmm. Once again, this week, there have been some really nice feedback <laughs> surprises. And one of them, you remember last week, we looked at, the buskers yeah, yeah. in Australia? Yes, yes. Yeah, you remember that, the investment yeah. buskers? Yeah. And we discovered that, but we didn't know who the guys were. We just, <laughs> you know, knew they were called investment buskers. buskers. Well, we broadcast our, our show worldwide, and we got a reply <laughs> from Eric Betts. Oh, cool. Who is one of the yeah. investment buskers, <laughs> um, and uh, boy, it was it was good to hear from him. And he told us a bit about what they do. And uh, uh, those guys, they go out to Martin Place there in mm. in Sydney every Thursday. Oh, so and they're doing this every day? They not every Thursday, oh, once oh, once a week. Okay. And then uh, Eric also has another band called the uh, 
uh, bronze whalers, um, oh, cool. which uh, works around. But one of the interesting things uh, Eric did, uh, he sent us a video reply on YouTube, yeah. which is one wow. of the things you can do. <laughs> and uh, so we're going, as an experiment, we're going to play his video reply. <clears throat> it's a small <laughs> file. I'm very curious to see <clears throat> just how it looks. Uh, but uh, he sent us this f small file. It's another busking video. And the angle <clears throat> that he chose to put his camera at is very, very interesting. And I particularly, as we watch this, look at the people that pass by and see yeah. what they do. But anyway, here we go. Some more busking from Australia, courtesy of Eric Betts. Okay. Yeah, that's from Martin Place in Sydney, and uh, uh, and that video uh, came to us as a YouTube video reply to our show last week. Oh, cool. And uh, <laughs> we want to encourage our listeners, whether you're a musician or a blues fan yeah. or a venue owner, this is one way to get information to us and if you post a video, you can even make one just talking to us, if you want to, with your webcam. Yeah. And, but if you make a video and send it to us as a reply on YouTube to our, our shows, you may end up being broadcast on our program. <laughs> and we invite people to, you know, get in touch with us that yeah. way. And uh, because this program is not just... Yeah. The two of us, it's the blues community. Yeah, blues connection. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And so let's build those connections yeah. and let's hear from you. And that's one way of getting back uh, in touch with us. And uh, we really want to uh, uh, thank Eric for uh, uh, being the first guy <laughs> to do that. Thanks, Eric. And, uh, and we're awfully glad to learn who you investment buskers are. Yeah. I like what he said here. I look like a banker, but I'm a basker. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. Yeah. And then read the rest of that because it's part of a Bo Diddley tune. Yeah. You can't judge a book by looking at its cover. That's right. And yeah, great, great Bo Diddley t song. <laughs> okay. Uh, now, uh, we promised last week that we would have a guest artist tonight to oh, talk yeah. about how to make videos. Yeah. Jerry Dewa. Yeah. Well, he got a paying gig out of town. 
folks. <laughs> and he decided he'd rather get paid on Sunday night. So he's uh, uh, out of town tonight. Mm -hmm. uh, but we'll catch him uh, in a future week. But uh, as it happens, another one of the people who communicated with us after our show last week sent us a video that's a good example about producing a video that's really good to promote a band. Yeah, yeah. And we'll see that in segment two mm. of our show. Yeah. So stick around and be sure you tune in to segment two. two. Yeah. <laughs> and you'll see that, that video, which came in to us just uh, two days ago, oh, as a matter of fact. Great, great. Yeah. Um, okay, there's a little bit of news to pass on to our Filipino uh, listeners. And uh, this weekend, there will be the annual music gear show. Can you uh, sort of check the notes there and yeah. tell people what that's what's coming up? The tour is an epic trade show of all musical instrument that you want. This show is will be producing in Amaranto Theater at November 11 and 12, 2012. Noise and gear testing starts at 9 in the morning. Yeah. Yeah. And entrance fee is only 100 pesos with free stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, this really sounds like a great event. Yeah, uh, especially for, for gu guitarists like yeah, me. Yeah, that's right. You can go over there and try out all the pedals and things and hear what oh. they really sound like. Oh, cool. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then they're going to have performances also off and on during the event. And the blues will be represented by Wally Gonzalez. Oh, It's going to be performing. Yeah, this is going to be a big night. Yeah. So, anyway... People here in, in uh, this part of the Philippines, get over there to the gear show. That really sounds like fun. Um, okay. And um, we would like now to turn our attention to our blues brothers over in Thailand. Mm -hmm. And uh, as um, most of you will know, they've been having gigantic problems with flooding over yeah, there. Yeah, I heard that news. Yeah, and uh, so we want to wish all our blues brothers over there the very, very best. And our understanding is that things are beginning to t make a turn for the better, and yeah. we're awfully glad to hear that. Uh, the uh, But to give you some idea of just how resilient uh, the people are there in Bangkok, uh, there was an event. That was scheduled for October 30, right in the middle of all this. Yeah. Uh, and um, uh, it's an event called the uh, uh, Bangkok Acoustic Guitar Celebration. And this is its, uh, going to be its third year. Uh, and they pushed through with it. And the main attraction was a guitarist, he's now 13, uh, from Korea named uh, Sung Ha Jun. Oh, I know the kid. <laughs> you, you know, you've seen his stuff? <laughs> of course. Yeah. He's famous all around the globe, uh, it, I guess. <laughs> it, it is amazing what he's accomplished. And we'll come back in the second hour. We'll tell you a little bit more about him and, and uh, what he's accomplished. This is a very young prodigy. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, but in any case, here he is headlining this acoustic guitar celebration. Had two shows, one at 2 and one at 7 on October 30, and they pushed through with it. And, uh, uh, and we already have a clip of his performance okay. uh, that we picked up just yesterday. And, uh, and this clip really fits into our program because, uh, and this is something many of our listeners may not know, the king of Thailand is a blues fan. <laughs> He's more than a blues fan. He's a blues musician oh, really? and jazz musician. He's more known for traditional jazz, but he does blues. And, um, and he's written 
some blues songs that all the Thai people know. They know these songs. <laughs> and one of his songs, uh, named uh, HM Blues, which is for uh, His Majesty, the King of Siam Blues. And that is the performance that uh, Sung Ha, I suppose he opened his performance with it. And we've got it. Let's listen to this blues composed by the wow. king wow. of Thailand. Very interesting. Yeah. <laughs> can tell the crowd really, really appreciated uh, as soon as I was preparing that song for them. And, just, and when they heard it, they knew that yeah, was yeah. HM's Blues. blues yeah. uh, and from the response, you could tell that they had a crowd. As a matter of fact, it was sold out. There were a few people who uh, couldn't get into town, and their tickets were turned over to. Uh, I wish we got we got more clips on the on that particular event. Yeah, well, that's uh, this is the only one that's been put up, but maybe oh. there'll be some others that'll come along. Yeah, uh, and uh, but anyways, uh, uh, be sure to tune in to segment two, and we'll give you some more <laughs> of Sung Hai <laughs> Jun from Korea. In this past this clip we just saw you. 15 years old yeah. and headlining the show. Uh, we got a lot of sneak preview for y- our segment too. <laughs> yes, we, <laughs> we sure are. So, <laughs> um, Now, we have another very exciting performer. And uh, Arvin, tell us about you. You're the one who uh, uncovered this person I'd never heard of. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, this guy named Jack Trump Tamaret. Yeah. He, um, he won the 2009 Guitar Idol that was that was um, in that was in Ger- I think in Europe. This mm. pl- this was this event was made. Yeah. And he won that event. Uh, he is the Guitar Idol for yeah. 2009. Yeah. And he's doing some some videos on her youtube uh he started playing at age 13 and he is a leader the band leader the composer and um he is a music teacher also in yeah. thailand yeah 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 he, he's the 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 full complete musician yeah, yeah. he's a full complete musician yeah. yeah i agree yeah and uh what is interesting about this particular cut is he did it in his home yeah, yeah. He did everything. Yeah. Just right there. And he only worked by himself. Yeah. Yeah. And then the thing that's interesting about it, it's called Cry for You. And it is done especially for, for the, victim the, of the victims the of the floods. Yeah. So, uh, again, blues musicians. Uh, as always, they step forward in times of yeah. crises uh, to help each other. Also, yeah. Tom, by the way, this guy greatly inspired me for my gui- for my guitar playing. Ah, uh huh. Yeah. Well, I can certainly understand that because he's a fine guitar player, 
And uh, uh, we're going to show his website uh, even before he plays, and we'll show it right after as well, because he invites, if you like his music and you're concerned about what's happening in, in Thailand, Thailand yeah. you can make a donation through his website, and every single penny and bot and peso and oh, yeah. whatever it is goes to relief yeah, fund. Tim, yeah. And anyway, um, maybe you can show that uh, that website so people can take a note of it. Yeah. And it uh, Jack W dot Jack Tamaret dot net. Yeah, that's it. Uh, this site has a lot of his music stuffs and you can donate to you for yeah. the victims of yeah. the, Thai the Thailand yep. flood. Absolutely. So let's take a look and see what it is he's sharing with us in this video. And thanks, Jack, for being such a fine man and a fine musician.
Yeah, now, <laughs> Arvin, what do you have to say about that? Yeah. Wow. Well, I was shocked. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It's very interesting. Uh, you know, there's an example of uh, a guy who's not playing blues changes. Yeah. But still the music just, it, he's got the feeling, yeah. uh, the expressiveness that's associated with the blues. Yeah, he, he just, he's not just throwing out notes, uh, random notes. Yeah. 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 Anyway, fine, fine performance. And um, also, we remind you again that if you go to the website, uh, yeah, you yeah. can make a donation. Yeah, here. To the oh, it's there, right there. Okay, yeah. Uh, and um, anyway, a donation. Every single bit of it will go to flood relief. And uh, thanks, Jack, uh, for doing that and and we're awfully glad we can share it with everybody um, okay we're going to continue our focus on Thailand and we're going to talk a little bit uh, again about Tokyo Joe's uh, we've mentioned this before uh, Tokyo Joe's was a, uh, a blues bar that uh, was very popular for a time in Bangkok and then it had to close down and um, and now it has reopened. And uh, interestingly, we mentioned this on air. We mentioned it on our Facebook page. And one of our followers, Steve, um, <laughs> actually went to Bangkok this past week. And he said, "Ah, Tokyo Joe's. I'm. I want to go there." And so he's went on, uh, did some Google searching, trying to find the address, and he couldn't find the place. So, uh, in any case, uh, I've gone back to uh, uh, Ron uh, McClure, who's the one who uh, gave us the information, and he has supplied the address and directions about how to get it, and we will post that on our website so that the information, even a um, reference to a map, mm. that'll help you find the place. So, uh, Steve, I know you're going back to Bangkok uh, in a few <laughs> weeks, and just check the website, and we'll have a reference to a map there that'll get you there this time. And, uh, so he, so <laughs> yeah. he's still searching for yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least he getting, didn't get lost. Yeah. <laughs> um, and uh, in any case, uh, Ron did make the comment that uh, uh, the live music, he thinks, happens uh, Wednesday through Saturday. Oh, no, no, excuse me. Let me look at my notes here. That's not right. When, what does he say here? Uh, Wednesday through uh, Sunday. Sunday's their jam day. Um, in any case, uh, uh, they do have live music there a number of nights a week at Tokyo Joe's uh, and uh, hopefully we'll get a report from somebody who actually finds the place <laughs> okay and uh, we'd like to pick up a uh, cut uh, video that was um, done at Tokyo Joe's before it closed a few years ago of course now it's reopened uh, but this is from uh, Tokyo Joe's from uh, uh, two or three years ago, and uh, it's a performance of Hound Dog, which almost everybody knows, and it was originally performed by Big Mama Thornton in 1952, and then Elvis discovered it and recorded it in 1956 and at that point it became a worldwide hit. In any case, here uh, it is being performed by uh, the Mercy Street Blues Band and I don't know anything about this band. Anybody out there who can share information with us about this band? Are they still around? Yeah. Please let us know. Yeah. And you can send us a, an email at bluesasia Network. at gmail.com. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
Uh, but anyway, let's take a look at this performance by the Mercy Street Blues Band. was a performance at Tokyo Joe's, which is just reopened, uh, and it's blues, blues, blues at Tokyo Joe's, and, uh, and if you go to Bangkok, you absolutely must go to Saxophone Blues and Jazz uh, Pub. It is, uh, it is the, probably the most widely known uh, blues center in Bangkok mm -hmm. and uh, and it's been around for a long mm -hmm. time I think 24 years I think if mm -hmm. uh, if my recollection is right um, in any case we're going to check in with uh, the Thai 
a blues man named Ped. And he has a blues band, and they perform there uh, most Fridays and Saturdays. And so let's catch up with a performance by Ped just last June uh, at Saxophone. And this was shared with us by our good friend and correspondent Ron McClure. Thanks for catching this video for us. So, okay, let's take a look at Ped and his blues. <laughs>
Okay, so that's Pitt's band playing its saxophone, and uh, there's something interesting about that that uh, maybe we can talk about. It's something you and I have not had a chance to uh, discuss before. The chord mm. changes in that song did not follow the conventional one, four, five oh, really? pattern. <laughs> Uh, and uh, at the same time, I mean, it sounded, you know, yeah, I mean, it was song. very bluesy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but the chord changes did not follow the conventional pattern. <laughs> really? <laughs> and so this is one of the things, particularly for younger blues musicians, that's useful to learn is uh, to... Uh, poke around and discover songs where the chord changes are a little bit yeah. different. Yeah. And and you begin to learn there are things like uh, um, uh, chord sequences that grow out of the basic fundamental the blues fundamental changes, yeah. but they are richer, they're a little more complex, and yet Deep down, it's still got that blues feeling. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And it reminds me, uh, you know, sometimes people get into huge arguments. What is the blues? Uh, I, I, what would you say? Do you have any, uh, how would you describe the blues? What is the blues? For me, the blues is the the feeling <laughs> Yeah, of, of playing deep with your heart. Yeah, that's the heart. That is the core of it. It's yeah. not exactly the chord changes, but it's the feeling. Oh really? Yeah. <laughs> I thought if you were playing the blues, you just have to stop on the one, four, five, and then add something like the thirds, uh, yeah. six. Uh, yeah, sometimes you get into chord change like uh, six two five one is a sequence that you find. Uh, uh, this in topic blues reminds me of the pioneers in the Monday Night Back Their Blues. Ah, where, okay. <laughs> yeah, they they always they always tells me that to explore more. So yeah. 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 And that's important for uh, blues bands to reach beyond the old one four five chord changes because if you play so all night no, long so there's no really specific uh, rules into blues well th there are some some rules but it's a lot more flexible than people imagine um, <laughs> and uh, so it is and this is one reason why the blues I mean, you can spend a lifetime exploring the blues because there is a potential of a lot of richness there. And unfortunately, too many people just think that the blues is the same old thing over oh. and over <laughs> and over again. And it's not. And uh, blues bands, I think, have a responsibility to explore the richness of the blues and don't spend all night just playing those simple jam sequences over and over again. Uh. So anyway, that's my little lecture for the night. And it does remind me, there I forget who it is who said this, but there was one uh, blues musician who was asked, you know, what is the blues? And his answer was, well, the blues is what blues musicians play. Very cool. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And that's right. You know. Yeah. Uh, and uh, it, I, that's just the way it is, and folks. Jazz is where jazz players play. Right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and so much of it is, it just has to do with the spirit of the music. Are you true to the spirit of the genre? Yeah. Very cool. Okay. Um, anyway, um, let's see. Where are? Oh, we've got one more blues bar to mention in Bangkok and uh, this one is this is an insiders blues bar now what do you mean by insiders it's the real fans who know about it it's not 
a place that many people know about <laughs> so or, it's an underground. or find. It's almost, yeah, it's kind of like an underground, <laughs> and you just have to be in the know, you know, to, to learn about this place. Yeah. And it's a small little bar called Add Here 13th Blues Bar. And uh, one of the owners uh, is um, uh, a musician named Pong. And so he hangs out there and, and plays there. Um, and he has a little band called the Banglung Poo Band. And the name comes from the district where... Add here, Thirteenth Blues Bar okay, is yeah. uh, Banglampu. Uh, in any case, let's take a listen to Pong and his band playing mm. at Add Here, the Thirteenth Blues Bar.
Okay, so that's from one of the real insider blues spots in Bangkok. But you know, there's blues outside of Bangkok also. Uh, if you go up to Chiang Mai, you will find blues. Uh, there are a couple of uh, blues bars that you can go to, and there are three musicians up there that are particularly associated with blues in Chiang Mai. One is a fellow named Boy. He has his band, Boy's Blues Band, and uh, he, had a, he had a little club, and it, that actually closed down a couple of months ago so that he could move into a bigger place. And his new place, uh, the Boy Blues Bar, opened just last week, just a few days ago, on November 1. <laughs> So, and it is in the night market, um, the Qatari night market. And um, if you go from the Meridian, the Meridian Hotel into the market, just follow your ears and you will, <laughs> you will find Boy Blues Bar. It's up on the second floor. So you follow your ears and look up and you will find Boy Blues Bar. And it's just opened. Uh, so check it out, and I'm sure that our friend Ron will yeah. uh, pretty soon be sending us some video from there. And then uh, there's another um, uh, place up there that has good blues called the Brasserie, uh, and it's been offering blues for quite a long time. And uh, there's a musician that is closely associated with that bar called Took, mm, yeah. and he performs there a lot, uh, and, and he plays electric uh, later in the evenings, and sometimes you can catch him playing acoustic blues earlier in the evening in the restaurant. In the boy blues. Yeah. yeah blues bar. Um, and then there's another musician uh, that's associated with Chiang Mai called yeah. Chai, he had a little blues place that uh, uh, it closed down, but uh, apparently he's talking to some of his friends and may reopen his bar in Chiang Mai. But we're going to close out the music portion of segment one this week with uh, a performance at the Brasserie by Chai, and the song is so fitting for right now because yeah. you know our blues friends in thailand have been really having a rough time of it but this song this is what we want let the good times roll, roll. so give it to us chai yeah <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>
town. <laughs> and we got nothing. <laughs> right in the crowd. <laughs> Don't let nobody see <laughs> my teeth. We got teeth. We Yeah, that is our wish for all of our blues friends there in Thailand. Let the good times roll, roll I tell you. <laughs> and um, 
We've had a great visit in Thailand. If you're a blues fan or blues musician, know that there's good blues in Thailand. So yeah. pay them a visit and have a good blues time. And you know, we never even, we talked about Bangkok, we talked about Chiang Mai, we never even talked about Pattaya. And there's the Blues Factory with blues every night except one during the week. And there's Leo's Blues Bar. So there's a lot of blues down in Pattaya as well. So the blues is certainly alive and well in yeah. Thailand. And best wishes to all of you there. And uh, anyway, we need to uh, uh, do a little pause here and bring segment one to a close need to do yeah. a little bit of business <laughs> and keep our friends at UR Face Radio happy. So, uh, but come back for segment two. Remember, we've already teased you <laughs> that there's some exciting things coming yeah. up in segment two. So be sure to tune in to segment two of week number four. And we'll see you in a bit. Okay. Okay. So let's go with our ID, station ID. You are Face Radio, the worldwide Hanoi music portal. It's the latest radio innovation by the real music institution, RJ. You are Face Radio, broadcasting live through Facebook. Facebook. This is You Are Face Radio, local support. Filipino artists will have a new residence for sharing their music, photos, and videos with You Are Face Radio's full-blown audio and video streaming from college bands, independent productions, record labels, and more. You Are Face Radio will serve as your new worldwide source for Pinoy music. Live sessions. You Are Face Radio will be the music fans ultimate band channel with daily live performances. Artist exchange. Musicians and fans can interact, interact online, online, live, on video, from exclusive interviews, rare footage, and remote guestings. You Are Face Radio will serve as the online bridge between bands and listeners. Remote concerts. With UR Face Radio's streaming capabilities, you can experience and watch the hottest gigs around the metro anywhere in anywhere the world in direct the world. from Facebook. UR Face Radio. Experience the worldwide Benoit Music Portal in three, three easy, easy steps. steps. Log on to Facebook.com slash UR Face Radio. Like it and click listen or watch live. It's a whole new radio experience, providing you with a worldwide platform for Pinoy music, online, real time. This is You Are Face Radio. www.facebook.com slash You Are Face Radio. You are face radio. 